You can get out of here now. We're done with them. You too. Get out of here. Wait, does this mean I'm fired? Well guys, guess what? We're working on the 600 Bud. It's finally the time where we have time to work on the 600 Bud and we're gonna get to it. It's been a while, we wanted to get it sooner, it just, life happens, farming, and well, it's been in the shop way too long, so we're gonna do this right now, and uh, what do, I guess, what do we got left on this thing? Got a lot. There's a lot. Well, hopefully we can do it in a week, that'd be great. Yep. Cause, well, We've got about a week before the snow melts and then we're back to work outside again. We've heard you guys loud and clear. What has happened with that stupid thing and when is it gonna get it fixed? Well, we were hoping one of you guys would come do it, but it hasn't happened, so I guess we'll take care of it ourselves. Motivation's been kind of a hard thing for us because after everything going on and harvest and all that, we've had a little bit of downtime, like, ah, we'll get at it. We don't really get at it, but we're actually gonna get going and get this thing put back together because it needs to be done. So we basically have wiring left, we have decals, we have windows, we have some hydraulic stuff that needs to be done. We have some things that need to be caught up, like uh, put the seat in, finish out some of the cab. You know, just things that need to be finished out on it. And it's just gonna take a little time but probably a good solid week, uh, unless we run into complications, we should be good to go. Otherwise, is there anything else you can think of that needs to be done besides uh, mm -hmm. a little bit of polishing, waxing, and... Gotta weld the new tow hook on the front of it. Oh yes, we do need to weld that on there. Right there. Kind of work on, uh, in case this thing ever gets stuck, which it, it would never get stuck, no. But we'll figure out a way of getting it. never yeah. been stuck. Oh no, no, not at all. I mean, we didn't just spend like $1,000 to buy a cable to pull this thing out at one time that I might have gotten it stuck one time. Never happened. No, no, we didn't do that at all. Anyways, so yes, we're gonna go ahead and get at this thing and I hope you guys enjoy what we're gonna do. Just kidding, not selling it. We stashed a bunch of stuff right here that needs to go on the bud in boxes, pieces, parts. We'll put it on. Let's quickly go through the things that need to be done to this thing to finish it. First, gotta weld the new tow hook on the front of it. Second, decals. Gotta put all the decals on, that'll be last. Third, all the piping for the exhaust and intake has gotta go on. Fourth, this cover here, gotta go back on there when everything's wrapped up. Fifth, this bracket here that holds the hood down needs a latch put on it. We have one on the other side, I haven't finished yet. And that needs finished painting. Sixth, we gotta go in and paint all the lugs and the bolts and the nuts and everything on the inside there that didn't get painted after we put them all on. Seventh, we gotta scrape off all the grease that's around the side of these tires that you guys think is overspray, but really it's overspray on grease that's gonna come off. So that overspray is gonna be gone. Eight, we gotta finish tying up some of the hydraulics here, as well as the drawbar needs work done to it. It's a little stretched in the center. So we gotta take the drawbar off. We'll inspect it, maybe put a new bearing in it. Nine, we gotta put all the windows in the cab. That actually is probably gonna happen today. Dr. Chop's gonna come out and give us a hand with that. So we're gonna put all the windows in. 10, we gotta finish putting the seat in here, the buddy seat, as well as some uh, insulation and uh, door gaskets around the door, a lot of wiring under the dash, as well as some of the cab marker lights and stuff needs done as well. And when we wrap all that up, I think it's ready. Let's get to work. Dr. Chop, as far as I know, is on his way and he wants to put windows in this thing because he's the pro at put windows in and I don't want to break a window or not put it in right and have a fallout in the middle of a field. So we're gonna have the pro come and help us because he's good at that kind of stuff. It's time. It is time. The doc came. I did. You guys remember this guy? I don't Dr. either. Chop. Dr. Yeah. Chop from Odds Autos. He may have or may not have painted the big bud. Or and the 9370. I, I may have. May have. May have. Yeah. I, I don't remember. He's been there, done that a couple times. News. So New some, news. we managed to bring him out here with some pizza, lure him out here with some pizza. He came out, had a slice, and now we're gonna have him put the windows in the tractor.
Mr. Auden, Dr. Chop is like forcing me to finish this little spot right here. He's just too lazy to do it himself. It's so like you bring him out here to help us finish this thing. So, I'll try this. I quit, I quit, I can't even do it, I quit. You just gotta have a uh, soapy water. <laughs> We keep telling him, no, we're done. We're off the big bud. And he just keeps climbing up there and goes inside like that. Just like that. Stop, stop it. Stop, stop it. Yeah, we finished it finally. I had to do a pizza break. I told him that the only way we could finish the last little bit because it wasn't going in right was we had to take a pizza break. They didn't believe me. I can't do a bad enough job to not have to come back out here again. So then I went and I, yeah. Every time it gets a little worse, a little worse, a little worse, like this one, it's coming next time. <laughs> Wait for me. We won't need him again though, because from here on out, there's no need for Dr. Shop ever. So we'll probably be the last time we'll ever see him. So say goodbye, guys. See ya. <laughs> Anyways, windows are in. We're good to go. Move on to the next thing. Wait, we're, we can go to your place? You can come to my place and work We did go stuff. to your place. Should we go to Ian's stuff. shop again? Yeah. Maybe we'll be at the Alden's Autos next time. You never know. Mm -hmm. You never know. I'm, I'm not going to predict anything, but it'll probably will happen. No. Okay. All right. You can get out of here now. We're done with them. You too. Get out of here. Wait, does this mean I'm fired? You should probably put a pull up first before you fire me because yeah. you don't want to get in trouble like last time. Because obviously my attempts to fire it don't do anything because he yeah. just... My payment yeah. was you. Oh, that's right. We were giving them to you. 115301. Oh, Scott. wait, I didn't get the memo. I got a, well, why would you? I don't know. I just, I was hoping to get a memo. You got it now. No, I okay. didn't. All right. I'm turning this off. But, oh, now we're getting weird. All right. I got more to do this thing. Stay tight. Exhaust time. Got the stack off the 600, and the old one was like a five inch, and it wasn't pretty. And we decided to do what we've been doing with the other ones, put a chrome tip on the end, so we got a six inch. I just finished, uh, basically took this, cut off that little bit, flipped around, welded it on here, and then that way you can just slide your tip, and you can rotate it, and we'll take a clamp and clamp it. Well, we went into the closest uh, parts store, got the best kind of exhaust paint you can get. It says up to 2000 degrees, so I mean, it should be good, right? I gotta clean this down, get it to the metal, so that way this stuff will stick, so when I spray this stuff on, at least it has a good clean surface, so I'm gonna wire brush it. Windows are in, they look great. Dr. Chop did a good job. There was a little bit of difficulty on some of the corners, but we got her all wrapped up. Now, leg arms is getting the exhaust ready. So I'm gonna get my hand here. We're gonna try to get the exhaust and the intake all buttoned up. We're putting these shields on this exhaust. Do you remember where these shields came from? 9370. Oh, I was gonna wait for them to answer, but they oh, didn't. Oh, well, well, I just, I, I, was, I yeah, guess. You could have waited, they were gonna. No, no, that's fine, that's cool. Like, you can right. guess. Well, anyways, yeah. The 9370, these are the old exhaust before we got the pipes exhaust stacked on that thing. These look nice, they're good, and we figured let's put it on the bud, help it chrome it out a little bit because we're putting a nice chrome tip on the top of this thing too. We didn't want to change out the muffler because, well, it's not that old of a muffler. We bought it like seven years ago or something like that. So we'll get that on there and then finish out a few more items with wiring. I got some stuff to do to the cab. Let's just keep rolling. Let's do it. It wasn't super easy getting the holes to line up. Slotted the one of these panels a little bit so that it had some flexibility. But they're on there now, and when we walk around that side of the tractor, we're not gonna have nice little burns on our arms. So let's put it on.
How's that look? Straight pipe up, chrome around the outside. Does the chrome look a little weird with the black stacks over here? The reason we like to do the chrome is because eventually that black is gonna deteriorate off the exhaust. It gets hot and it burns the black off. But this will always look nice and chromey. Oh, we're gonna put one of those on there. Oh, that just makes it look silly. Oh man. Oh, just, I don't know. I don't really think that's a good, uh, to do it like that and put a handle I like just don't know if that before. Well, it, it just, yeah. So originally my dad had the exhaust clamp like this and he had a handle here. So when you're crawling around, you can just grab it and work yourself around. But since we got this shield here, I don't think we need it. We'll probably be fine. Just grab the shield and hang on to this thing. Yeah, that's the real question with this tractor is because of its extreme rolling coal ability, I don't know, which way should the coal roll? Not straight forward, not at the cab. Actually, honestly, right where it's at looks pretty good. I wouldn't do it just directly straight out. I kind of like it blowing forward a little bit. We'll let leg arms decide this one. That looks awesome. Nice and shiny all the way through. Perfect. Awesome, that is the intake. So we've got air going in the top of the intake, drops down into the air cleaner, which filters out all the impurities, sediments, anything that's just not good for the engine. Air flows through the tube, enters the turbo, the compressor side, compressor side pumps into the engine, into the piston, combustion takes place, comes out, the exhaust manifold wraps around, goes out into, well, I guess the exhaust manifold's connected to the turbo, into the exhaust side of the turbine and the turbo, which then blows out the exhaust here, comes out here. So in just a few seconds, goes in, runs through the engine, comes out. And the only purpose of that is to deliver oxygen to the engine. Oxygen and compression, those two things. Isn't that amazing? So historically, buds have four lights on the back of the cab. One, two, three, four. And we didn't like the old filament bulbs that were in there. Plus, they didn't work. So I got some handy dandy nice little LEDs that we put in the other buds. They look great. So I'm gonna install these real quick right now. It'll be great. Do it. Well, you can see I got the wiring pretty well tucked up. To tie it into the old system was pretty easy. The original wires were there. They're good quality because they're inside of a nice waterproof cab. But the outside obviously I had to replace, but it looks good. Marker lights are in, they're good. So far, seems to be pretty solid. Power's not hooked up to them yet, so can't turn them on quite yet. That's still the wiring under the dash, but that's good to have those done and wired in. I'll find the next thing to jump on and start going to town on it. Turn this off, since I don't want power going to those right now. What do you think? Looks good, huh? I got this pull cord in here. I still gotta put all the, the tubing down and hook the air hose up somewhere under the dash, wherever there's air. But got your pull cord so you can yank on it when you want to scare someone. Okay, well that's a good wrap for part eight, Big Bud series. It's been a little while guys since we've gotten back to this, but we're finally getting it going. As you can see the beautiful exhaust up there. A couple other things happening. It's amazing how many things are spread out through the shop that are still needing to go onto this tractor, but we had to put it on hold due to farming, which is kind of an inconvenience at the moment. But that's good. So expect more of these to come, guys. One thing though, they're gonna be uh, a couple week break between the next part nine of this. Got a couple things going on, more farm stuff, probably gonna be hauling some grain and that's gonna put a kibosh to this. We've had a lot of things come up on and off that have not allowed us to work on this consistently for a few days. It's kind of like a day on, a couple days off, day on, a couple days off. Usually the fall time right after harvest is a lot of catch up on getting things back to the way they should be, things that have been a bit avoided. And so we've been trying to get a lot of stuff behind the scenes just 
taken care of and that's why we really haven't been able to get at this thing. So there's gonna be a little on and off, like you said, yeah. but we're getting <clears> at it. Leg arms go on on a little, little trip for a couple weeks. I gotta go to wedding. Not mine, somebody else's. But it's a long ways away, which means he's not gonna be in the picture and he's, don't tell him this, but he's pretty important to finish this thing. Uh, we just, in case I need to fire him, so. Uh, but you know, I, I hear job security, Nick. Is that is that job security? About, I don't know what you're talking Cause about. Because I, I like that. I, I mean, it, it's kind of given a nice ring to my ears. I love the sound of it. Well, I will say one thing. He is on this trip to go to a wedding, going to go interview for another possible job somewhere. So if it all works out, he'll hopefully stay there and not come back. But if it doesn't work out, I'm coming back here, guys. Okay. Just so you know. I'm coming back. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, God bless, and uh, next episode, it'll come. Stay tuned.